Hey everyone, and welcome to my Silver Bells party look. Keep watching if you wanna see how I did it. Okay, so I've already put my foundation on. I used Silk Cream Foundation from Laura Mercier in the color beige ivory. So I'm gonna do the eyes first today. We've got some glitter happening, and sometimes that tends to to have a bit of fallout on the cheeks, so I don't wanna go in and, and work on my skin until our eyes are complete. The first step is using a bit of cream shadow. The reason we're using a cream shadow is we want the glitter to have something to stick to, so really any color will do. I'm using the Quartz from Smashbox. Uh, let me grab a brush here, a cream, cream color brush, so just a little synthetic haired brush. We're gonna apply that all over the lids. You know, you can always wear this alone for a party look or everyday look. You know me, no rules. Then we're gonna go in with a bit of glitter. This is the Makeup Forever Body Sparkles in, sorry, I don't wanna spill it, Silver XL. So I'm taking a little brush. Let's show you. Do I look cross-eyed? You're not supposed to get cross-eyed till after the party. And we're just pressing that right into that cream shadow. So put as much glitter as, as you like. More is not necessarily better. If you wanna do just a little tiny hint of this, then do a tiny hint. Then we're gonna curl our eyelashes. I'm using Kevin O'Quan eyelash curler. I wanted to do a, you know, a quick party look. And when I say quick, I mean, not that it's gonna take you five minutes. It's something that's not super labor intensive. Then we're adding just a quick coat of black mascara. I'm using my waterproof telescopic. Gizmo is losing his marbles in the corner over there. Can you hear him? Giz? You're acting like a nutball. Your fruitcake. A little rapscallion. Okay, and then the next thing we're gonna do is add in our eyelashes. I'm using the Ardell eyelashes in number 110. Now I've cut them because I don't like to wear a full strip of eyelashes across and made them into, you know, little, little end pieces. And then there's also other little bits that I made just glue in there as well for some intensity. So the trick is to cut them into pieces and then what you can do is place them bit by bit across. It's a much more manageable way of, of applying false lashes. Show you on this side. These are my favorite go-to lashes. I use these on a lot of my clients. I discovered these, actually I was with Justine working on CES in Las Vegas last year and I forgot to pack eyelashes. So we had to go to um, the pharmacy across the street from the hotel. I thought, oh, you know, I'll just find something, something there to use. And I discovered the Ardell number 110s. That's how I did it. And we were a little worried at first, like, oh, we're not gonna find something we like there. And then lo and behold, now those are like the go-to lashes that we use. Sometimes we make mistakes and they turn into positive things. All right, so we've got our eyelashes on. Now the next step is to go in and tight line. And for that, I'm using the Stila Stay All Day waterproof uh, felt liner, which I love. I can't remember what video I did this in, but um, this is my favorite way to tight line my eyes, is doing a liquid liner at the roots. Just have to be careful, because you don't want to poke your eyeball out, obviously. I just like how precise this is. It really stays put. Same thing on the other eye. All right, so we've tight lined. Now I'm gonna go in and add a, another coat of mascara. Add as much mascara with this look as you want. Like I said, it's all about that really 
lush looking fringe. I'm gonna go in and conceal a bit with the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. Around the nose. And then if you feel like you had too much fallout from the glitter, just take a little baby wipe and, and wipe underneath. And do a teeny tiny touch just in the inner corners here, just to give a little brightening. So we've got our concealer on. And today, you know what? I'm not using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm actually using the mineral pressed powder in Real Sand. That's it. And just dusting right where I need it. You can, of course, use the translucent powder as well. I'm just trying to incorporate some different products into my tutorials. Plus, I need the coverage. My skin's having its moment of breakouts. Okay, so we've dusted on our foundation powder. I'm using a blush that I have used in many of my tutorials. I just love it. It's the Physician's Formula in Natural, the little hearts. I use this all the time. This is like my daily blush now too. I like that it has that pink, but not overly pink look, and it has a glow to it. I definitely like a little, a little glow on the cheeks, especially for a party. There was a knock at the door earlier. I thought it was my husband coming back in from running errands. No, it was the UPS guy. Can you imagine what he thinks? Like that I kind of like look like this <laughs> on like a regular basis. <laughs> I look like, oh, I'm just, you know, all done up. It's nine in the morning right now while I'm filming this. So he probably thinks I'm a Stepford wife or something. A Stepford wife that like doesn't do any cooking or anything wifey like. I do laundry. Then we're gonna use a little bit of brow gel. You can of course fill in your brows if you need to. I don't need to fill mine in, so I don't. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of silver eyeliner. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, but I just think I've got it, so why not? This is the Urban Decay in Dime, so it's silver. I wanted to just put this in my water line or pipeline or whatever we call it inner rim. Does that look cool? Should we just stick with it? I kind of do these as I go along. I have the overall look in my head, but it's not like I know what it looks like till it's finished. So let's bring it down a little bit into the, into the lash. Yeah. Party. I'm ready for New Year's. Should we make resolutions, guys? Let's do it. So I was remembering like all my uh, past New Year's, and I think New Year's is like so depressing. I always feel really let down because you have like these big ideas about plans and like a, going to parties or whatever, and then it doesn't ever turn out like how you wanted it to. So I was remembering one year when I was like. 15 or 16. I was so in love with this boy. Oh my gosh. I loved him and He's my friend, but he didn't I don't think he felt the same way for me but on New Year's He told me that he did and then he like totally kissed me and got me to Make out with him at midnight, which of course I wanted nothing more in life because I was in love with him and then he like didn't talk to me the next day or the day after or the day after or the day after that didn't ever really talk to me ever again so that was a great new year's now for the final touch i want to do a nice pretty kind of an updated frosty pink you know what? can't even see my look at this it's like you can't even see my sweater for this whole thing so depressing. I'm using Roman Holiday from NARS. Oh, that is so cute. That's like their most classic pink color that they make. 
So there you go, a super fun and festive look for your upcoming parties this season. I hope you like it. If you decide to try it out, make sure to tag me on Instagram or Twitter so I can see how gorgeous you look. And make sure to subscribe if you would like to see more weekly tutorials from me. Have a wonderful and safe, happy, happy new year. And I will see you guys in 2014. Bye. Make me pretty, Jessica, darling.